The island is still surrounded by that strange storm, and unfortunately, it's creating a lot of interference. Short-range communications appear to be unaffected, but without the satellite antenna, there's no way we'll be able to get through the Ether Gazer headquarters. Snowflake 2's main propulsion system is working fine, but we're not going to be able to cross these treacherous waters without the sensor and buoy. We'll just end up going in circles. So, basically... Welcome, everyone, to a longer island adventure than I had first anticipated! <laughs> So, there's no way to fix the fridge? Gee, is this really not a prank? With the administrator's life at stake, I think not. But it's not such a big deal, right? All we need to do is find the parts, and then we can go. Huh? Is that so? No! And how long until I can see my master? Even Shu says you need to learn to be more independent. You want to keep dragging Vidar down? An extended stay on the island means we'll need to deal with a number of problems. I mentioned come with a built-in signal locator, which will help us pinpoint their general location across the three nearby islands. I think splitting up into three groups and searching separately might be the quickest method. the rest of us in three teams. It also means someone will need to go alone to an island. receive the report in full. Um, understood. Okay, then. Sure! Exploring the islands kind of sounds a bit exciting, actually. your attention to, Admin. I've recovered the nautical logs from Snowflake 2's central computer. It recorded our journey up until the moment we encountered our, uh, little difficulty. And I saw that Bizbane on the screen again. I have a very strong feeling that whenever we finally do leave this place, we're going to meet it again. So, 
We need to think about how to fight it before we leave. We've got to have a plan.